So when we talk about these membranes that cover organs that need to move, we are talking about two layers of membranes. And these two layers basically form a sac that has the internal organ or organs within it. The layer that is forming the wall of this sac, so the wall of the cavity, is named parietal. And the layer that is covering the internal organ, per se, is named visceral. Now, the word viscera itself means internal organ. And that's why the layer that is covering the internal organ, per se, is called visceral layer. So, remember, I just said that surrounding the heart, we have the pericardium. And if we zoom in at the pericardium, we can see that there are two layers. One layer that will be covering the heart and another layer that will be a little further away from the heart. The layer that is in contact with the heart, the internal organ, is the visceral pericardium. And the layer that is further away and not really in direct contact with the internal organ is the parietal pericardium. Now, pay attention to this. Can you notice that in between the visceral and the parietal pericardium, we have this space? This space is a cavity. And this space is a cavity surrounding the heart itself. So, this cavity is named pericardial cavity. And within the pericardial cavity, is where we find the serous fluid, the lubricant, that allows our heart to beat without friction. And as I mentioned before, this serous fluid is produced by the cells that make up the visceral and parietal layers, which in this case, since they are surrounding the heart, these layers are named visceral pericardium and parietal pericardium. 